ADHD Awareness Month. Reframing ADHD. Discovering new perspectives. Adults who have ADHD, uh, they've got six times the likelihood of having something else in the package. And that may be the other thing, maybe what you hear about first, or you may hear about the ADHD. But just to give you an idea of, of uh, how these break out, um, among adults with ADHD, they have five times the likelihood of having a mood problem, which could be uh, straightforward depression. Uh, it could be a major depression. It could be uh, the sort of thing where eating and sleeping are, are disrupted frequently and they're really feeling hopeless and it's hard to get out of bed to do anything. Or it may be uh, a persistent depression, what we used to call dysthymia, where they can keep on doing what they have to do most of the time, but yet at the same time, they, they don't take much pleasure in anything. There, there's, there's not much satisfaction. And uh, there's just sort of an undercurrent of hopelessness about things, you know. So that you know, the to say it, it, they've got five times the likelihood of a mood disorder compared to people in the general population doesn't necessarily stipulate that. Could be that they have episodes. It may be a bipolar thing where they have episodes where they get really revved up and it, every their things, thoughts are going too quickly. They're talking too quickly. It's like they can't slow down. Or it may be that they get super that they have periods where they get super irritable and they get really crabby and hostile about small potatoes, things that wouldn't normally uh, cause them to react that way. And so the mood may shift in a bipolar way from one person to, you know, within one person uh, from one day to the next or one week or month to the next. You know, there are a variety of mood disorders, anxiety disorders. Some of the, sometimes the anxiety is is a panic attack and you know, those are, are terrifying for people. Sometimes it's just more chronic worry and they've just got, they're, they're constantly looking for what's the next thing that's likely to go wrong. Uh, substance use disorders. Uh, with kids, show me a kid who's 10 years old who has ADHD carefully diagnosed. And I can tell you that that child has double the risk of having a drug or alcohol problem at some point in his or her life if they are not treated effectively with medication for ADHD. You know, and the, the, it's three times the rate uh, for substance use disorders in adults. And, you know, and then in addition to that, there, there are sort of impulsive problems, you know, that are about three times more likely with adults. So it's not always the same set of difficulties with one person or another. The main thing is to be aware of the fact that ADHD is an underlying problem on which often additional problems are superimposed. And so you have to listen very carefully to what the person's able to tell you about what they struggle with and what goes well. And then think about uh, what's the best strategy for dealing with it. And usually uh, you go, first of all, you just look at where is the pain? What kind of frustration, what kind of difficulty is the person having? And then what are the underlying difficulties that you may want to address? The mission of ADHD Awareness Month is to educate the public about ADHD by sharing reliable information based on scientific and peer-reviewed research. ADHD Awareness Month is brought to you by ACO, the ADHD Coaches Organization, ADA, the Attention Deficit Disorder Association, and by CHAD, Children and Adults with ADHD, in partnership with ADHD Europe.